So I think in the future, another area where we can expect to see NT-Pro BMP used substantially um, is in the primary care setting for earlier detection of structural heart disease and identification of heart failure at even earlier stages. We know very well that in symptomatic patients, NT-Pro BMP is valuable. So in primary care, just as in the hands of specialists, recognizing heart failure may be quite challenging. And so use of NT-Pro BMP is already supported in this setting. However, I'd emphasize that the processes that lead to heart failure, the heart muscle changes, um, the various cardiac abnormalities that lead to heart failure may occur well before symptoms develop. And it is now known that NT-Pro BMP values in these patients are typically abnormal well before symptoms start. So ultimately, it may be um, possible to recognize heart, the signature of heart failure before it even develops symptomatically and intervene at an even earlier um, stage. Ultimately, these are studies that need to be done in the primary care setting. We know, for example, in a pilot study called the Pontiac study, that early diagnosis of, uh, of uh, heart failure in patients with diabetes without symptoms, um, treated more aggressively, um, these patients did better in the NT-ProBMP strategy versus a strategy without NT-ProBMP um, evaluation. We're now performing the Pontiac II study where patients with diabetes will have an NT-ProBMP measured and if above 125 picograms per milliliter, these patients will be treated more aggressively with the hope that we can reduce new onset heart failure in these patients. Mm -hmm.